All right, ladies, I think we can all agree that most of the time, mothers know best. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't appreciate their wise words when we're young. <laughs> an Instagram post on The Neighborhood Talk poses an interesting question. It reads, what's something you thought your parents were tripping about when you were younger, but now as an adult, you understand why? So, so what is your aha moment mm. when it comes to your mom? My parents were so dead on about so many things, mm -hmm. like enjoy your childhood, take it slow. My dad is always like, slow down, don't use the phone so much. You know, like he would teach me to be present and I'm learning that now, but at half my life or kind of half at 40, you know? And also like skin. My mom made such a big deal about skin when I was younger and wow. I would sunbathe. I would like, you know, not take care of it, not moisturize with good things. Yeah. Now we're holding on to every inch of collagen. <laughs> right? Yo, yeah. we see one line and we're like, no, you know? So there's so many things. I can make a list of them. So I mean, I get, when I was growing up, my mom would come home from work and she was like, I need a moment. And I'm like, what is she, why does she oh, need wow. a moment? What's I wanna wrong? tell you Chill out, day. yeah. <laughs> Now I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, need a I totally yeah. get it. I get home from work. Yeah. I like James is calling me. People are calling me. The, the producers are texting me. I get. I have to give myself an hour. Yeah, an hour just to regroup. That's actually really good. That's so find good. some peace. Find some quiet. Necessary. I shut everything off. I understand now. Wow. So when a person now tells me they need a moment. I totally get it. Yeah. I come to your dress for you. I need a moment. Okay, okay, I'll be okay, back. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. a moment, yeah. but I'll be back. <laughs> My mom used to do that to me too. My mom would be like, I just need five minutes, Adrian. No talking for five. I was, <laughs> as you can imagine. Oh, poor, poor Mama Nilda. I was a talkative <laughs> child, and she'd be like, I just, just, just don't talk for five minutes. Five minutes. I just, shh. And I would be like, Funny enough, I, I think it would hurt my feelings, like now looking sure. back, but I get it. I'd be wanting to sell myself to shut up. <laughs> I'm like, bro, if you don't shut up. Right. So I, I totally get that. That's wild. Um, where are you? My mom used to say, not everybody's your friend. Not everybody's your oh. friend. Oh, that's a good one, and Mama. that was a real, and I always thought, God, you just didn't have too. friends. These are my friends. And now I realize that not everybody should not. be in your inner circle, yes. right? So not everybody's your friend. And she used to always say, when you go to a party or a club, do not pick up the same drink if you put it down to go dance. If you put it down to go you have talk to somebody mom. else. And I'd be like, Mom, you're just so paranoid. But now, I do that. Thing. If I have a drink, I put it down and I go somewhere else, I don't drink it when I come that back. That is so smart. And my mom is the same way. She literally really? has always told me, I'll be like, oh, my friend, something. Mm -mm. Your acquaintance. And ah. I would say, no, Mommy, she's my friend. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Your acquaintance. Okay, I love I hear that. Nilda.